He's the multi-millionaire publisher who was knighted for his charitable work. Sir John Medeski is both wealthy and well-known, but he's not been immune to the economic downturn. He's lost more than £300 million since 2008, and the Reading Football Club chairman is now in danger of being relegated from the Sunday Times rich list. Sir John will be ranked at 947 when the newspaper publishes its 1,000 top earners this weekend. An investigation by BBC South has revealed that most of his companies are making losses. Our business correspondent Alistair Fee has this exclusive report. He's rich and famous, a flamboyant character who's generous and has a taste for the high life. In business, he's regarded as shrewd and honest, but behind the image, these are tough times for Reading's most recognisable resident. Since he made his fortune in printing, Sir John Medeski's interests have been varied. Most notably, he became chairman of Reading Football Club in 1990. He spent around £37 million on the stadium that bears his name, and with it came a conference centre and hotel. But as the UK economy went into decline, so did Sir John's fortune. He's built up a mixed portfolio containing hotels, a restaurant, a radio station and property. We've looked at 21 companies he has a share in. According to the last available set of accounts, three have gone bust, 17 are making losses and just one is turning a profit. The majority of the companies that he has an interest in have negative net worth. So they are worth less now than when he originally invested in them. And there are significant losses in a number of those companies. His ventures have included the Sackville Property Group, which recorded a £10.8 million loss in the financial year ending March 2012. There have been no accounts filed since. Reading Football Club, which made a loss of £2.3 million last year. And there's the Medeski Hotel and Conference Centre, which recently turned a corner recording a profit of £378,000. So how much has Sir John Medeski lost? At his height, the Sunday Times rich list estimated that he was worth £400 million. Last year, that figure had fallen by £300 million to £100 million. I've known Sir John for more than a decade now, and uh, our researchers talk to his advisers each year before we reach a, a valuation. It's all re realisable assets that we're looking at, uh, and the market valuation of companies and properties. As a businessman, has Sir John lost his touch? He's struggling to balance the books with his companies at the moment and he's quite honest about that. He's probably thinking at the moment that will I be in the next rich list? Perhaps not. It's his investments in property where he's been hit hardest, all bought by companies that come under the name Sackville. Known as Mr Redding, Sir John Medeski had big ambitions for the town. The Station Hill redevelopment here was part of his plans, but in 2011 he pulled out. A look at Sackville Properties gives an indication of how much trouble he's in. The last set of accounts revealed total group assets of £37 million and debts of £84 million, including £52 million owed to Royal Bank of Scotland. We've been unable to establish if that has been paid back. The financial crash of 2008 hit lots of developers. To get an independent perspective, I met up with property expert and commentator Henry Pryor. With commercial property values and rents still in some parts of the country, even in the golden corridor of the M4, coming under considerable pressure still, there's no doubt that we're still some way from getting resolution on this. At the end of the day, the commercial property market is one of the last truly open capitalist markets. Companies like Sackville Properties have, have benefited and profited from that in the past when they're down on their luck and the and the, and the market smells blood, there is, there is no one very forgiving when it comes to commercial development. This site in Bista helps explain where much of the lost millions went. In November 2012, Polestar took over Sir John Medeski's printing company Goodhead. When it went under, it's estimated Sir John lost at least £80 million of his own personal wealth. It's not known how much Reading Football Club has cost him. He thought he'd found the perfect buyer in Russian millionaire Anton Zingarovich. That deal went sour. It's now believed Sir John is effectively acting as a broker for the Russians' 51% share. Speaking last month, he said he was keen to leave the financial burden behind. It is a, a concern, of course it is, because uh, we know that uh, the voracious cost of running a football club is absolutely immense. And of course we've got, you know, and, and people with that sort of money are few and far between, so it's absolutely critical we find somebody. 
but the search goes on. Hopes to return to the Premier League were recently dashed when the Royals failed to get into the playoffs. For the fans, the uncertainty over future ownership continues. Most people um, just think he's rich, he's got lots of money. I mean, he's never thrown it around, he's always been prudent and, and all credit to him for that. But supporters, a lot of them will want somebody to, to come in and bankroll the club because to compete at this level, you need deep pockets, which is one of Sir John's phrases all the time. So where does this leave him now? He's still a very rich man, but nothing like as comfortably off as he once was. If the commercial property market makes big gains, that will help. But £300 million is still a lot to lose, however wealthy you are. Alistair Fee, BBC South Today. Well, Saturday approached Sir John Medeski for an interview on three occasions, which he declined. We sent him more than 10 detailed questions about his finances, such as whether the RBS bank loan had been repaid, and Sir John chose not to reply.